Hey guys, here's what we're going to be making today. It is this really cute little um, toaster plushie with toast inside. And yes, the toasts do come out, if I can show you guys that. Um, they just look like this. And I think they're really cute. The toaster has two little slots, but I actually cheated, if you can see. To make it a little bit easier, so this bit is, like, it's just one big hole underneath. You know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, I think this one is pretty simple to make. And... Yeah, <laughs> I kind of ran out of things to say. I guess this is where I normally say, let's start the tutorial. For this tutorial, you will need some felt. Um, I'm using two colours of grey, but you can use whichever colour you like. The template, which you can download in the video description. Thread in the same colour as your fabric and pink. Fabric scissors and a sewing needle. First, take your lighter colour felt, and we're going to trace around these three pieces. We will need one of this piece, one of this piece, and two of this piece. Then taking your darker colour felt, we're going to trace around this long thin rectangle two times. Now cut out all the pieces, and it should look something like this. Now there's one more thing we need to do before we start sewing, and that is that you need to take one of your dark rectangles and just cut it in half down the middle. Now we're going to start sewing. Put the light grey pieces to one side and we're just going to look at the dark grey. And now we need to assemble these three pieces together to form a rectangle. So, sorry, not a rectangle, a cuboid, <laughs> kind of. So what we're going to do is, sorry this is kind of hard to explain, um, use a blanket stitch to sew along these three edges, so attaching this long piece all the way around like that. It doesn't actually matter what colour thread you use for this because it's going to be inside the toaster. So once you've sewn that side on, it should look like this. And now we're just going to do the same thing with the other side. So here is what it should look like once you've done that. And now what we need to do is take this piece that we cut out earlier and place it on top. And then we're going to attach them together by sewing down this edge and also this edge using a blanket stitch. For this you should be using a matching thread colour because it's going to be visible. So here is what it looks like once you've done that. Um, try your best to sew along these little edges as well but it's quite fiddly so it's not necessary if you don't think you can do that. Um, another tip that I would advise if you're not so confident with sewing is to make the template a little bigger because as you can see mine's like really small compared to my finger so I think if the template was bigger then it would be a lot easier to sew these pieces now before we sew on the side pieces I just added a little face onto one of the curved edges I guess Um, I just used black thread for the eyes and mouth and pink thread for the blush now once you've done that Place the piece with the face on at the side of your toaster like this. And we're going to sew around this edge again using a blanket stitch. Once you've done that it should look like this. And now do the same for the other piece. Then once you've done that add the final piece. Add some stuffing and then sew up the gap. To make the toast pieces you'll need brown felt, cream felt, the same colours in thread and the toast template. We use your template to cut out four pieces from the cream felt. We need four of these pieces because we're making two slices of toast. Now using your brown felt, cut out two strips like this. If you're unsure about how long to cut them, take an A4 sheet of felt, just like mine, and then cut out a strip and cut it in half, and that should be just about the right size. We're going to start sewing, so thread your needle with brown thread and we're going to use this to sew on the faces onto two of these pieces. And just as a side note, I would be really interested to know how many of you guys want me to do a tutorial on how I sew on my faces because I always seem to get a lot of people requesting that but I don't know because I, I want to know what you guys think because I feel like it would be quite a simple tutorial. I don't know. So tell me in the comments below if you would like me to do that. Anyway, once you've sewn on the faces, thread your needle with cream thread. Now taking one of your brown strips, we're actually going to cut it just about here because I want to make sure that the bottom section is flat as I sew it on. So now that you've cut off this little section, we're going to place these two pieces back to back, like, uh, like 
with this and just sew along this edge using a blanket stitch. Once you've done that it should look like this and now we're going to take this other section that we removed from it before and attach this all around the top edge. So once you've done that here's what it should look like and as you can see I've also sewn up these two side pieces just using a couple more blanket stitches. So now the last thing we need to do is turn it over and put this piece on top and then again sew all around these edges using a blanket stitch. Don't forget to add a little bit of stuffing before you sew all the way around. And then once you've sewn up the remaining side then our little piece of toast is finished. So now we're just going to go and do the same thing for the other piece and I'll come back and show you how it looks when it's finished. Here is what my two toasts look like once they're done and now all we need to do is put them in the toaster. And then here is what it looks like with the toasts in the toaster. They actually fit in there pretty nicely considering um, the toasts are kind of puffy. <laughs> but I think that might just be because I put a little bit too much stuffing in. Um, I still think it looks really cute like that. And obviously you can like, you know, mess around with them and pull them out and stuff. But yeah, um, some of you guys might know this if you follow my Facebook page. But I actually had my last exam on Friday. So that's really exciting. <laughs> so right now I have, I think I have three weeks off college and then I have to go back to college for two weeks and then I'm off for another five or six weeks, I think. Um, so that sounds a little bit confusing, but all you guys need to know is that I'm pretty free for a couple weeks now. And I think what I'm going to do is next week, that is this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm going to be posting a video every single day. Ooh, that's exciting, isn't it? Um, they're not all going to be plush tutorials, but I don't know, some of them might be. But I think what I'm going to focus on is trying to do some sort of more basic sewing things because people are always asking me for, you know, I think I might do a how to do a back stitch, how to sew on my faces, just how to make key rings and things with your plushies. Um, I'm not entirely sure because I haven't planned out the videos yet, but I think that'll be really fun. Um, so if you guys have anything in particular that you would like me to show you how to do, um, maybe something you've been wondering, or it can be a specific tutorial of course, then please leave it in the comments below and I'm going to be reading through them all and picking out the ones that I like the best. So yeah, I've been talking for a while now so I think I'd better go, but I hope you guys like this tutorial and thank you for watching. Bye guys!